Hi everyone, this is DigiD here, and I know it's been a while making videos, so uh, this is one for a friend. He wanted to know how to install Project 64 on your computer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it, download a ROM, and actually show you how to work Project 64 so you can actually play on your computer, or just more mostly your computer, since it is an emulator. And emulators, they allow you to play old games, that you don't have that you want to play but you just don't have the console to play it so this allows you to play the games that you want to play from the past if you know about emulators or if you're not but this is it this is how you get to install project 64 on your computer so from here we go to we just go to here go to a web browser already we have to download the file we have to download the file and actually get it to work so the best site to go to is go to emu emulatorzone.com uh, this is a very old site it has tons of emulators on here that allows you to play the games that you want so they have a bunch of games to range from gamecube nintendo 64 game boy game boy advance super nintendo all that stuff so what, what, what we want here is the Nintendo 64. So we click on Nintendo 64. The best one, they have a rating on which one that has the best one to work with. I would say go with Project 64 because it seems like the easiest. You click on it, you click on the first one, the first link here, and it downloaded executable. The reason why it says number one is because I already downloaded it already onto my computer. So, and I already made a folder, but I re-deleted it so I can show you guys what I'm doing here so you can see for this tutorial here on how to do it. Once you do, you have a folder on your computer, your desktop, it says Project 64, and you have the executable right here. You double click it, it says yes, just run it anyway, because I am on Windows 10, by the way. Once it says preparing, you click next. It says modify, repair, or remove. I'm gonna remove it because I kinda uh, I deleted it. So I'm gonna just uninstall it real quick and then I can show you guys what it means. So you click here, click yes again. Sorry about the remove part, but no, let's get to the installing part of it. So you click here, click next. Then you says you see what folder it says project. It goes to your program, your programs file. You can move it to the desktop. I just moved it straight to the desktop. I click my C drive, click users, my name, and then I go to um, desktop. What's on the desktop? And because I got a folder just for it, so you can be easier to find, easier to locate, locate everything you need, your ROMs and everything else. You click there. You click OK. You click next and you click install. It's going to do install this stuff all for you and then you can just click the launch button to launch it. But the thing is we don't have a ROM, okay? Let's just say let's just say I don't have the Smash 64 uh, ROM. Let's say you want to get a ROM. So now you want to get a ROM. So we go to another site. It's called emuparadise.com. This is another great site that allows you to download old ROM games for a lot of different consoles, different systems that are out there, and it allows you to actually use the certain files you want. So you click, go to here, it says at the very top, quick ROMs, ISOs, and games. And then it has all the consoles. You click on Nintendo 64. You can see I already clicked on it. And then after that, you click download N64 ROMs. You can choose any, they have all from A to through Z, but they have mostly the ones that are mostly downloaded are right here. So like Mario Kart 64. I'll do one for you. Click Mario 64. You scroll down until you find the download button here. It usually says there's a verify button first. But it, since I already verified it. Because you have to type in a little uh, recatchapica uh, words in it. You just put that in. Super easy. You click the link. Yeah, it says right here and then you download the file which is Mario Kart 64 now I'm downloading Mario Kart 64 now it works I accidentally downloaded twice <laughs> on my computer but now we have download 64 we just extract here extract the file here there's n64 we click on project 64 we load it up since we got it downloaded now we can just load it up click OK 
click OK. You click File. You click Open ROM, and then just click Mario Kart uh, Mario Kart 64. Click Open, and let's see how fast it's going. About 60 frames per second on my computer. This is going fast. So now, there we go. I figured I showed you guys how to get how to get Project 64 emulator to work on your computer. So now I showed you guys how to get it to work. If you want to configure your buttons, you go to here. It says configure controller plugin, and then you can set your buttons to the way you want it. You can have a joypad in there, so like a PS4 controller can work on your PC, a um, GameCube controller if you have the link, or an Xbox One controller, or besides an Xbox One controller, you can use a a uh, PC controller that actually works. You set up the buttons you want. You can save the profile and everything else to it. But there. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.